my sexual desire while living under sharia slash islamic law i'm interested to know what he will be sharing in this video so without further ado let's watch i'm an australian guy and i was raised in a fairly liberal household but recently i spent two months living in a country under sharia law sharia law is of course islamic law that seeks to prevent behaviors such as gambling, drinking alcohol, premarital sex, extramarital sex, gay sex, rape, and so forth. I am not married, and I didn't have a plan to become married anytime soon, so I assumed upon entry to this region that I wouldn't be having sex for two months. An extra assumption along with that was that I'll probably get really, really horny. What I experienced was the exact opposite, and it's made me rethink everything that I thought I knew about sexual desire so over these two months i interacted with a lot of women conversations with groups of women groups of men mixed groups etc had a lot of social interaction but everyone was pretty much covered up so my sex drive seemed to plummet and i just didn't really feel that horny anymore and i realized wow this is because nudity semi-nudity is not being flaunted in front of me all the time women with super tight jeans massive cleavage hanging out blah 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 I'm not being confronted with this all the time, so I'm not having this kind of sexual response. And something really interesting happened, I kind of forgot about gender. Like man, woman. I assume forgot in the sense of the sexual attraction towards the other gender, rather than forget about, are you male, female, right? It actually doesn't matter. If you take this to its natural conclusion, any attempt by a woman to show off her body, reveal her body, dress in a certain way, is actually designed to make men feel sexual desire for her. At the end of my two months living under Sharia law, I was like, wow, I, I get it now. Interesting. I get it now. Yeah. Uh, so Sharia law, because I was wondering what exact law he is referring to. From the whole story, I think it is about... Because initially he talked about not able to have sex. And then he linked it to become... To, to, to the state of being horny. I think it's, it's related in the sense that... Um, you know, he would think that he have high desire to have sex. While not able to have sex. Right? That's the, the challenge that I think he, the assumption that he has. But then he realized that that desire that I, I think that the sexual desire is not, you know, at the horny level that he thought he would be because the surrounding is not stimulating that desire. Perhaps compared or relative to what he have experienced before. I think he said he's, he's from Australia, right? So with that, with I'm not sure whether he, when he said about all, all, all women are covered up, his, whether he's referring to the Muslim woman that is covered up with hijab, or even non-Muslim that dresses more covered up relative to what he used to have or see because it is an Islamic country. I'm not sure which one, but the point is, you know, the lack of visual stimuli stimuli you know source of stimulation results in lack of you know that 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 drive not drive what you know that temptation or you know struggling with you know that desire uh hence he's not having that that problem basically right and what he said i, I think okay, there's many angles that i can comment on one is of course we, we believe that Allah, God that created us, knows us the best, know what you know, triggered anything inside of us. Hence, the Sharia, the law, the commands that Allah have given is the best for humankind. Right? Meaning that it would prevent things that would be harmful, that would trigger certain things inside of us, etc. 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 Right? That's number one. Number two, if you are familiar with the concept of uh, prevention is better than cure you would see this in the sharia right it 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 is first and foremost prevention most of the time right which would reduce 
the the temptation the desire the opportunity as well etc etc about you know crime activities or lust etc etc right so that's number two number three um as i kind of remember this about i've i've been exposed to a lot of you know western content in terms of tv shows sitcom etc and one of the things that i was always wondering about is because it depicts the challenge for youngsters to you know i think the word used is abstain or prevent themselves from 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 having sex uh it's always have that that connotation that i was i understand from the within the context of what i was watching but it is so much different than what i've experienced growing up and i think that's the thing like the environment does you know trigger different level and type of stimulation to you that it would be much easier as especially for me growing up i do not have to you know prevent myself because it's not you know the desire it's not being triggered and stimulated in the first place it would be different if you are triggered but you have to prevent yourself it's very difficult it's very hard hence some people says the challenge for muslim to live in the west is much much greater because you know the surrounding is as such and you know you have to prevent yourself from doing certain things and it's a constant battle the only thing that i can relate to personally on a personal level is i'm used to be addicted to games video games etc right there's a period of my life where that is my life that is my life and it's very hard when it's there and you know for example there's a period that i know i have to focus on my exam etc but the temptation is there and it's constant <laughs> struggle right um the on, the easiest way is to eliminate the temptation altogether right so for example in my life right now in my home i have a tv you know the physical tv but it's not connected to anything it, there's no cable network there's no national tv etc uh it can only play if you have usb and you plug in something right so there's no temptation because previously is there's uh, if there's a football live telecast i'll be glued to the tv is there's in interesting sitcom i will be glued to tv etc etc there's a period of my life like that but now i don't even remember about tv just like he said he didn't even remember about uh, he forgot about gender right uh in the context of sexual attraction i guess because you know it's not being you know stimulating that aspect so that's interesting uh what do you think what do you think about this video and you know this topic feel free to share um i think with that thank you for watching see you next time